Hey guys, Crossflux and Broken Ideas here with something new for the channel. We're both really into card games, Yu-Gi-Oh especially, and after watching Simo's progression series on YouTube, we thought it might be fun to put our own spin on it. This video series will be assuming that you have at least a basic understanding of the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. That being said, let's take a moment to briefly go over the outline of how this progression series is going to function. The goal of this series is to have fun by watching how Yu-Gi-Oh changed over time. We're going to do this by having an evolving deck. Each episode will open a booster box from the next set of TCG boosters, starting with the Legend of Blue Eyes, followed by Metal Raiders, and so on. Once we open all 24 packs, we construct a deck using our new cards, including our previous inventory. The winner of a match, or best 2 out of 3 games, will earn a win on the scoreboard, and the loser will earn 1 pity point. In between episodes, these pity points can be used to give that duelist an edge. This might seem like a backwards concept. I mean, shouldn't the winner get a currency as a reward? Well, if that was the case, then a few early wins could result in a snowball that's impossible to beat outside of crazy luck. And besides that, the winner does earn something for winning. They, they win. They, they get a win on the scoreboard. <laughs> And thus, the loser earning a pity point helps to prevent one of us from snowballing out of control and allowing each of us to stay competitive amongst each other. The specific things that pity points can be used for will be going up on screen and listed out in the description below. Strategic use of one's pity points can allow for a major swing in the types of decks one can build. Also, they're the only way to gain access to certain cards, since so many cards for specific archetypes exist only in certain structure decks. One other thing we can do in between episodes is propose a trade. We can only perform one trade per episode, and we must follow the rules of rarity for rarity. So, commons for commons, rares for rares, etc. The next bit we should mention is ban lists. As much as I despise them, they are a major part of the card game. We are playing casually, so the odds of us having decks that are remotely competitive at any given time is slim. Despite this, there is a chance that one or both of us could end up getting a really OP or nasty deck at some point. So having a ban list in place could help mitigate unfair play. That being said, for each episode, we'll be going by the ban list that was in effect at that time. Except, we'll be using the traditional rules, meaning there are no banned cards. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. On a related note, we'll also be playing with post errata cards. Although I tend to prefer cards in their original states, sometimes cards were simply bonkers upon release, and the designers couldn't see any flaws until much later. Most erratas have been made with the intention of balancing certain cards. Konami's track record with these aren't too good, but I do think they're still worth using regardless. We'll also be playing with Master Rule 5, the most current version of the Yu-Gi-Oh! rule set as of this upload anyway. To close this video, let me just say that for those of you who don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh!, prepare to get schooled. Both Broken and myself have extensive history with Yu-Gi-Oh!, but neither of us are professionals by any stretch of the imagination. I honestly don't care about the competitive scene in Yu-Gi-Oh!, and I tend to play decks that I personally find fun or interesting. Suffice to say that Yu-Gi-Oh! is not a balanced game. I know a ton of people try to claim that Yu-Gi-Oh! used to be fun and balanced back in the day, but uh, <laughs> no, it never was. Yu-Gi-Oh! was created as a cash grab, inspired by a manga about games from over 20 years ago. There's no way it was going to be balanced. But despite that, I grew up with it. It has a soft spot in my heart, and I'll always enjoy it. Broken and I will probably make a few mistakes during this video series, like screwing up how an effect works and whatnot, but just know that any mistakes we make will be purely accidental. Neither of us are trying to cheat during this series, it's just for fun. So try to be patient with us if we end up butchering a certain play or don't know how to use a certain deck. It's all part of the learning process. Without any further ado, it's, it's time, time to, to duel! duel.